Hello, and welcome to King Pasha's Garage. Today I'm showing you this. It's new, it's part of the car pass. It's the Ford Mustang SVO from 1986. As you can tell, I have 1,127 horsepower all-wheel drive. These guys here have real-wheel drive and real-wheel drive. I think there's only two of us that have all-wheel drive at the moment. So, I mean, it's very new. So, this guy I know, yeah, he had all-wheel drive. But he only has 839 horsepower. So, I'm, and he's on off-road tire compound. So, that's strange, too. But, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely the most powerful um, car as of today on this game. So, let's get into it. So I just got done tuning this car on um, Car Esta. Um, I really didn't push it. Well, I pushed it, but I didn't really push it. You know, you'll see what I mean. And uh, yeah, so let's just get to that clip and show you guys what was going on. So first, it'll start out. Um, me just seeing what kind of score I can get. I didn't like it, and I, I went in and. I just changed the alignment and then I try it again. So there I'm like, all right, that's cool. Let me go in there and 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 bring this up to 4.8 and try it again. And I go back over there cuz that's usually where I start my uh my drifts from. As you can tell, I, I have a different spoiler than what the uh, stock one has. The stock one, well, you know, stock. Uh, this is uh, actually has downforce, but I like um, this spoiler better, so I went with it. So that's what we got. But yeah, I was just dragging out points on this thing. I was pretty much taking my time. I wasn't um, flying down the mountain. I was using my, my brakes more often, just trying to, you know, squeeze as many points out of this as possible. And there's definitely, you can definitely squeeze out a lot of points with this car. It's uh, it's got all that power on on stock tires. Uh, if I if I went with any other tire, I went to an S1 class. I'm just trying to take in as many points as possible. Yeah, who needs that sign? Really slow there. I mean, this was the, the run and done. So, you know, uh, there's, there's more that could be done, pretty, pretty sure. I mean, the car just came out uh, this morning, uh, just a couple hours ago, um, and I got right on it as soon as I woke up, and uh, now I'm sharing the video now. So, you know, by the next car, you know, passed, you know, 
I could have another tune for this, you know. But uh, for right now, this is what we got. It's out there. It's for you guys uh, to use. And who knows? What, what if I can't make anything better? You know? Then this is what we got. And that's fine too. And we pulled a 1.112. Not bad. Not bad at all. So that, that's very impressive uh, for this car. Uh, so I, I think you guys are going to really like this. So uh, here's the car mastery if you want to know. Um, there isn't much stuff here. Uh, but it's stuff, I guess. You know, for these car pass cars, they should have, you know, wheel spins and whatnot. Just because, you know, we've, we paid the extra, you know, bucks. So here we got the uh, 8.4 liter V10. All right. You also have a turbo rally engine option, 6.2 liter V8 and a diesel engine as well. Sounds pretty mean. Got the all-wheel drive drivetrain and twin turbo. All right, not much for body body work on here. Um, these are your options. So I went with this one. Um, there's this is the stock one as it goes to an S1802. That's all right. I would have just had to remove. Um, just some slight components to bring it down to a uh, a class if i really wanted to but I, I went with this uh it just looks uh looks better it looks like the uh like what the 95 and then you also have this option as well all right and then this is mud flaps here and that's that's it nothing nothing else just mud flaps but you can have the mud flaps on still keeping it in a class so that's that's really nice all right, like I said, we've got a stock tire compound on here. Anything else, as you can tell, goes right up to S1. Even the drag tire compound will take you up to an S1. All right, we just got stock 225s in the front and stock 225s in the rear. All right, now I went with a heavier rim so I could get more power. So I use these ones. All right, they're they're at the top here. They're pretty easy to find. But uh, that's usually what I use if I really want to try to get the max power. At least I was able to keep the uh, stock rims on this. So I got 16s in the front and 16s in the rear. And then I was able to uh, max out the uh, the track width for both the front and the rear. I figured with that all that power. That would probably help in some way. At least we got a stock transmission. All right, so it's a six-speed um, race drive line and a stock differential. I know, I know. You gotta listen to me. It's a little different. Doesn't have a drift differential. Honestly, I don't see there is really much of a difference. It's got sport brakes. Drift springs and dampeners. Anti roll bars for the front and the rear. No roll cage. Saving 133 pounds. It's got a stock weight reduction. I mean, to have all that power, you have to make uh, adjustments somewhere. I mean, here you could save 512 pounds. All right, race intake, race fuel system. Everything here is pretty much race all the way through. It 
and a race flywheel. So all of that's in a race. Now, if you would want to take the uh, um, spoiler and change it, you would take this, take it all the way down to there, um, and then you would also go over to here, take this, go all the way down, um, you know, and so forth. You might even have to um, take the, the rims. Uh, now, actually, going that way, you can't do that. So you wouldn't be able to do that. Um, even here, oh, that would drop it. You know, you could do that. Um, and this here, this drops it down, too. So um, you can work around getting the uh, regular uh, spoiler on there. Um, differential, you know, yes, you can have a posi, you know, uh, you know, drift uh, on there if you really want to. Um, doesn't bother me. It's got the drift kit on there already. Um, and I, I pulled out some really amazing points with it. So I don't see the need to it. Um, it's tunable anyways. So, you know, just let it go. Anyways, here we are. We got 55, 55. All right. Here's my gearing. Here's my alignment. As you can tell when you saw the video, I changed it to 4.8. Here's my anti-roll bars, 40 and 40. Springs was nice. You you take this all the way down the soft and it will zero out to this, 3364. And that's usually what I run, so that's what we did. So, And then I just, you know, brought that down, you know, the 355. Dampening is 5735. All right. Like I said, there was downforce on this car, so I just took it all the way down the speed. Um, it's got, you know, the sport brakes, and sport brakes are just fine. You know, the race brakes were going to take me way up to an S1 um, class, so, you know, nothing there. Um, and then my differential is 76, 86, 99, 99, and 71. You're probably like wondering, gosh, where'd you get this tune from? I'll show you. I took it from my other one. I think it's over here. They always they always like to mix it up. You know. Took it from this one right here. From my 1500 horsepower. Um, oh, it's 93. 93. Ah, I th I'm mixing up. I'm, that was a 95. Nope, I'm wrong. I'm, it's, it's normal. I'm usually wrong. I hear it every day. Either way. <laughs> I took it from the 93 uh, tune, uh, car, so this, this went to that one, except for the alignment. Alignment's different. Um, so that's what we did there. Um, the whole rest of the tune is that car, but the alignment is what I've been running right now. Uh, so there's that. Yeah. Now, lots of things that you could still do to this car. Um, and I'm going to be messing around with it all week, but I just figured I'd show you guys a good, uh, rough draft, um, something just quick out there, um, just to get you guys started. So hopefully this, uh, this is a good, like, bass tune for you guys to, uh, work with. And yeah, well, hey guys, if I, if I make something better, I'll, I'll definitely make another video and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out and stay sideways.